And hello everyone, welcome to Learn a Trade. I am Kevin Tate, and today I'm on a site um, that's having a carbonation issue with their soda and um, and their Slurpee. I've uh, identified the issue on, on these here. Um, it's these pumps. Actually, it's these auto shutoffs that are on the pumps down below here um, sorry about the noise but I'm right in the back right right next to where the bell is the the door entry thing is so it's a little noisy but uh, we'll get through it let me see I'm just gonna disconnect my co2 line off of here for now it's about it's about five or five or six of these that are that are bad so I just want to show them to you show you what what's going on it'll be something good for you in the in the future if you ever run across it but um give me a few seconds here I'm just disconnecting the CO2 from all of the lines I all of these so soda slurpy lines right now because I'm gonna need to get into into each of these just to replace the the auto shutoffs on them. I'll show you why in a sec. Here we go. Okay. So let's start. Let's start here and then this one. Get this pulled out. Just show it to you. But you see right here. See right there, this uh, yellow, it's a little yellow sticker on the auto shutoff there. That says, that yellow sticker says high altitude, right right in there. So what's happening is when when this system got installed, they, they installed them with these high altitude auto, auto shutoffs. And these do not work in the Northeast. <laughs> so... So what's happening is uh, whenever the uh, one of these syrups runs low or or the um, or the system doesn't get used for for a little while, uh, these these will cause uh, a blockage in the uh, in the syrup line. So so it won't it won't allow syrup to pass through um, due to the fact that it's only supposed to be used in high altitude area. So I have to replace each of these uh, because that's why this this particular site keeps running into CO2 issues or syrup issues. Either their soda won't won't come out uh, correctly uh, with CO2, proper CO2, or or the uh, syrup uh, for the Slurpee won't come out right. So I'm going to end up replacing these out and then they should be good to go after that. So just give me a few minutes and then we'll get into I'll get into that. Okay, so right now I'm gonna work on disconnecting this uh act this uh, auto shut off right here. I have the new auto shut off right here. Notice there's no high altitude label on it. So this is a good one for this area. Just get the cap off of here and we'll as you see, I got the, the line clamped a little bit just to kind of cut down on my on the uh, syrup leakage, it's going to be a little bit of syrup leakage, changing these out, but just try to cut down on it. There we go. Mm. Let me get that out there. Grab my cutter, I'll cut that line, and then 
reconnect it to the new one. Let me just grab some uh, clamps and, and cut it. Should be good. This is one of those sites that it's a little ways out from my normal uh, service area, so it's been a while since I could come out come out here and since I seen the call this morning I figured well I might as well get those get these all swapped out while I can all right so I'm just gonna cut through this line here it's gonna be a little little leakage like I said but not much you could do about that uh, I'm gonna go ahead and connect this new auto shut off to here and then um, secure it with a clamp either a 15.7 or a 17 will do Just to secure it to this line right there now that's secured i can go ahead and pop this back into place and and make sure it's clamped clamped on both sides this side and the back side has a clamp so And these here, these are those high altitude ones that I'm taking off. You can see, I think you can see that uh, it says high altitude. So I'm going to, you know, clean these, clean these fittings off. And then we could probably, you know, sell these off to um, someone, a uh, company that's out in the high altitude areas and um, they can make some use of them because they're brand new. They're, they're not bad. They're just, uh, they just don't work in this area. So I got about one, two, three, four more of these to do and then it'll be um, pretty much all set. Okay, so now I have all that uh, one, two, three, four, five. It's about six, six of these valves that I had to replace. So I got those all replaced. Now um, I'm just gonna go ahead and reconnect the CO2 lines, and then these should be they should be good to go after this. Yeah, with these high altitude lines like this, they won't always go into a, an error right away. So it's, it's kind of that thing that happens over time. And then and then it will go into the into the error. So always something good to always something good to be aware of um, if you ever run into that usually it's a it'll be like you'll get like a repeat call of um, you know, CO2, a CO2 issue, but their, but their bulk tank will be full, and 
it just won't seem to have the right amount of pressure to push out the uh, product correctly so they end up going into an error code but these are all set now um, they're all set uh, the unit in front is good and um, that's about all I have on this one everyone again this was an issue with the soda machine and slurpee units not having enough uh, co2 not having uh, proper dispense levels and um, it ended up being that the auto shutoff valves were the were the wrong type they they were for high, high altitude and not for this particular location uh, so that's all I have hopefully this was useful to you um, I appreciate you watching thanks a lot take care and stay blessed everyone